let's draw that you guys draw it with me uh, i have sent the diagram in the note you guys can look at that and draw it because i will end up using that diagram just draw this for now and draw a line here in the middle this is called the pectinate line okay this is the pectinate line uh, let's go back into embryology If you haven't learned this, don't worry too much. We have three germ disks. What are the three primary, uh, the secondary germ disks? What are the three germ disks? Oh, oh sorry. Ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. Yes, nice. Ectoderm, what does it give rise to? Ectoderm, embryonic ectoderm, embryology. Hmm? Skin. Skin, and one very important structure. Nervous system. Yes, never forget that. Okay, nervous system. Then the mesoderm is inner to that. What does the mesoderm give rise to? Muscles, connective tissues, and that's uh, so on. Okay, and also this is important, especially if you plan to do USMLE, the spleen. Okay, the spleen is a derivative of the mesoderm. The reason I said spleen here is because the endoderm gives rise to the GI tract. There's three discs. There's three discs uh, that you will learn in embryology for my university, I think, second semester. Ectoderm. Mesoderm. And the endoderm. Okay. The endoderm gives rise to the GI tract. But look at this end here. I did not complete it, okay? Because this section below is going to be from the ectoderm. And the section above is from the endoderm, okay? You guys understand this? I had to go all the way to this to explain that tiny concept. Uh, but it's fine. Endoderm and the ectoderm. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the nerve innervations, the blood vessels, and the lymph nodes. And just remember this in the middle, keep a bit of space when it comes to the blood vessels. Okay. Keep a bit of space uh, because uh, I'll be drawing the hemorrhoids there. First, the endoderm. This is going to be the visceral innervation. Visceral innervation. And the uh, region below the pectinate line, it'll be somatic innervation. Can someone tell me the meaning of somatic nervous system? Does anyone know the meaning of somatic innovation? That controls the voluntary movements. Oh, uh, sorry? That controls the voluntary movements. Okay. Yeah, uh, it is rel related, but not really. Somatic means body wall. Uh, what you said is correct. Uh, that is because it innovates the muscles, the skeletal muscles. Uh, this is a uh, Somatic innovation is the body wall. Somatic means body wall. Okay. 
the wall of the body. This is visceral innovation, or you can just remember it as inside. Okay, these are big words with a very simple meaning. Okay, you can Google it, you will get a big definition. Uh, that's not necessary. Just remember visceral means inside, somatic means outside the body wall. Okay, now let me ask a question in appendicitis. You guys have heard of something called the McBurney point. Okay, if you haven't learned it yet, you'll learn it. You have heard of something called the McBurney point. Okay, is it because of innovation from the visceral or from the somatic wall? Okay, okay. Let me ask it in a different way. An appendicitis patient. Do they first present with pain in the McBurney point? Or general, a generalized form? How do how does the pain present? Generalized form. Why is that? Reason. Yes. Reason is it is innovated. Uh, the appendix is going to be innovated by the uh, visceral innovation. Okay. And when it is inflamed, one of the hallmarks is infl uh, is pain. So this same visceral innovations will be supplying all around in that region. Okay. The first pain will be generalized. The second type of pain, the reason it migrates to this McBurney point is when the inflammation spreads to the peritoneum. Peritoneum. Okay. Once the inflammation migrates to the peritoneum, that's when you get pain in the McBurney point. That is somatic. Okay. Body wall. It is localized. Okay. Uh, we will discuss these tomorrow. I'm doing the enteric nervous system. I'll be discussing these tomorrow. Okay. Now that you guys have some idea about the somatic and the visceral innovation, let's go into the lymph nodes. Okay. These strain into inguinal, <laughs> sorry, internal iliac lymph nodes. These Above the pectinate line, they drain into the internal iliac lymph nodes. Okay. However, these drain here superficial inguinal I N G U I N A L lymph nodes. Okay. Uh, let me show you where the superficial inguinal lymph nodes are. I will have to. It is in this region, okay? It's uh, like if you, it will be here, okay? That's where the superficial inguinal lymph nodes are found, okay? Now, let's take a look at the blood vessels. Here we have the superior rectal artery and vein. artery and vein okay remember that from here remember that from here and down here all the way at the bottom you have the inferior rectal artery and vein okay it's not too hard now if there is hemorrhoids, if there is these enlarged blood vessels, which easily bleed, these can easily bleed. These can easily bleed, okay? It could be from the uh, top part or it could be from the bottom part, okay? Now think and tell me, which is painful? 
these are called this will lead to internal hemorrhoids okay and also the location of a type of tumor, tumor called adenocarcinoma this region adeno means gland carcinoma is a tu uh, malignant tumor cancers okay cancers that originate from glands now internal hemorrhoids is it painful or painless 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 okay pain less due to visceral innovation okay due to visceral innovation this is painful bleeding hemorrhoids will bleed painlessly so a patient will present with painless bleeding painless what is going to be the color of the bleeding is it going to be black tarry stool or red and bright or oh, bright red bright red okay reason for this there's no enzymes there's no enzymes to uh, destroy these blood okay there's no enzymes which will break down the blood okay clinical uh, it's a clinical correlation you need to know next let's talk about the external hemorrhoids this is where oh, sorry the hemorrhoids that occur from below the pectinate line this is painful due to somatic innovation okay and uh, external hemorrhoids also fissures and squamous cell carcinoma okay squamous cell carcinoma squamous cells are usually uh, cells okay squamous cells are found in our skin it is closer to the skin just remember it like that and one more important thing you need to know about these is they drain into which lymph nodes superior inguinal so uh, superficial superficial inguinal okay so by the time the patient presents there will be a palpable mass there will be a palpable mass in the superficial inguinal region okay did you guys understand all of these if you did not please ask fissures basically means you have seen what an earthquake looks like right basically there's going to be cracks okay fissure means you know what uh, an earthquake looks like it's the same thing here there will be a lot of fissures one reason there's going to be scratching right one cause of this scratching which leads to damage because this is a painful lesion this is just one cause okay the scratching that's it try these two cases fit try these two cases IVC means inferior vena cava. Uh, send your answers in the chat. I'll give you guys one minute for the first question. Question number seven, actually. Send your answers in the chat. For the newcomers, here is the question. In the sense, students from the first year. She's constipated. She doesn't want to defecate. So that will lead to retention of feces 
leading to constipation. Okay. Here, yeah. there's another statement which is for the same. Does the port okay? Right. Okay, my question: Does the portal vein drain through the inferior rectal vein? Check again. Okay, uh, the inferior rectal vein is part of the systemic circulation. Drains into this. I hope you guys understood. Okay, the answer is A. Inferior vena cava. We are the inferior rectal vein. So the, what has happened here is this is a external hemorrhoid. Okay. And then this has lead. Uh, this has led to pain. And they are asking where is this external hemorrhoid? coming from it is due to inferior rectal vein and this drains into the inferior vena cava remember the superior rectal vein it drains to the portal system that's correct but this is internal hemorrhoids okay now, try this question. Question number eight, try it. So yeah, the answer is A, okay? Let me explain that. This is a malignant squamous cells, okay? Rectal exam, okay, let me uh, go all the way back. This patient's lymph nodes are palpable near the inguinal region, okay? In near the inguinal region, these lymph nodes are palpable. And, uh, they check to see if it is a prostate uh, tumor or if there's an enlarged prostate. No. They do a biopsy of a rectal mass and it shows squamous cells. And we discussed here uh, squamous cell carcinoma drains into superficial inguinal lymph nodes and it's a tumor which originates below the pectinate line. Okay. Yeah. Hope you guys understood this. Let's go into. Isafagus, we'll end the class from there. Uh, sure.